All right, guys, welcome to the third ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Yo, it's John. Got my brother John here. I got my brother Gio here. Got Kevin here. Got Toby here. You already know how it goes. Facts. We're in this bitch for a third episode, man. Thank everybody that's coming back to fuck with us again. Thank everybody that's coming and messing with us for the first time. We appreciate everybody watching. We appreciate everybody listening. We appreciate everybody supporting. So let's get that out the way. No, thanks. But um, yeah, we're back with another episode, man. We got a few things to talk about today. Man, we, and, got, um, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah, take it away, John. What, 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 what do we got today, man? I mean, honestly, there was a couple of things that have been going on, especially this week with the shooting. You know, a lot of people dying, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's, right. it's ridiculous. You know, just a regular day. People going to, to Walmart, you know, just regular stuff. It's, it's, right. it's unsafe and, to go and, anywhere. And that's good you brought that up, bro, yeah. because, um, yeah, we didn't touch on both shootings that happened. You know, we just we were reading up on it as it was going as we were recording. We didn't know all the facts. So, um, yeah, we want to dive back into that real quick, because at the end of the day, man, that that's crazy. In El Paso, there were 22 people killed. And there were about 20 wounded, I believe. That's, that's 22 liter- killed. That's literally the day after we I mean. We made episode two about El Paso. Right. No, no, no. That was El Paso, bro. That was El Paso. So El Paso, there was 22 people killed. It says 22 people were killed in El Paso after mass shooting on Saturday. Police said they found an anti-immigrant document exposing white nationalists and racist views. There was another mass shooting the same day. And there were another nine people that were killed in a shooting in Oregon district of Dayton, Ohio. The suspect in that shooting is dead, though. So, so they, that so, guy, they oh, okay. ca- they so, shot. So they married him. So yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I think okay. that it was it, he was caught before, like a couple minutes. He was caught within a couple minutes of the first call. Okay. So, shout out to those police officers, the first responding police officers that took took you know care of that and um, risked their lives to go save other people's lives. You got to respect that at the end of the day. Yeah. But um. That's crazy, man. That's fucking wild, bro. Literally the, the same next day, day. The next day. No, it was the same day. It was bro. the same day because we did. Yeah. It was all one day, bro. A weekend. It might have been a couple days after or something, but regardless, it was in a weekend. That's wild, bro. There was thirty-one people dead, shot dead, just having a regular day, going out to have a good time at a bar, have a couple drinks. You had a stressful week, whatever, whatever the case may have been, and and you end up getting. Yeah. Shot by a random dude. So we just wanted to touch base on that real quick. You know, rest in peace to all the people that were shot. You know, um, our condolences go out to the families again of everybody affected, both in Texas and in Ohio. Um, that that's wild, man. That's wild. So we we just wanted to get back in touch with that. But um, yeah, man. Let, let's move on to the next subject. Um. Uh- there was a couple a couple of things that that's been going on. Um, I mean, today that I saw, basically, I a couple of things. Yeah, a couple of things that I did see. Um, I heard about Greenland. There was there was basically like 12, 12 million tons. I think. Let me let me double check. Yeah, let's let's get our facts right. Um, let's let's not blurt out just numbers and all extra shit, but. Greenland lost 12.5 billion tons of ice in a single day. In a single day. 12.5 billion. In how many hours? 12.5 billion. Yeah, man. I was reading up a little bit on it, and they were saying that that wasn't supposed to happen at that rate until 2070. 2070. So we're... We're We're talking about August 1st. August 1st. August 1st. I mean, what, what's today's date? Billion. What, what's today's date? Toby, what's today's date? It's the fifth. Yeah. It's the fifth. There's been four days since that. That's that's wild, man. And the fact that there's enough ice in Greenland to raise the ocean level by 20 feet globally. There's I mean, enough ice in Greenland. That's kind of scary for the, the people that live in in Florida. That's scary for the people that live around the world, man. That's globally. That's true. 
It's globally. That means that that whole uh, Greenland holds enough ice that if it melts everywhere in the world, there'll be 20 feet. It'll be 20 feet higher. That's crazy. That, 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 that's insane to me. But it, it's wild. The, the thing that's more crazy is how people argue the fact that there's... That nothing's going on. Yeah, there's no global warming or that something That nothing's like going that. on at, at all. I mean, it's kind of crazy, man. I mean, those type of people that are really, like, polluting the earth, you know, they don't care at all. That's that's kind of, like... It's kind of disturbing. Yeah, bro. I, I agree. It's, I mean, because... You guys want to have kids. You guys want to have generation. You you guys want to have your family. But, you know, maybe 60, maybe 100, maybe 200 years down the line, maybe the earth is not even going to be available for you for you guys anymore. It's, right. not, it's not even going to be able to grow any type of herbs, anything like that, any type of vegetables. You know, you guys ever seen the movie Wally? That's real. Mm. It's real. Seriously, that movie is basically what the world is going to be another 100, maybe 200 years from now. Everybody's being lazy. No one want to clean up the earth. No one takes, you know, they're just talking about money. That's it. So it, it, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I, I mean, everybody, it, it's just about the money. It's just about, it's just about the money. That's it. And yeah, no man. really cares about it, the earth. It's, it's, kinda, it's kind of something that we can't really stop because it's so bad. We're it's so something bad. that we can't stop because people are stuck in that mindset that money is the only thing and money is the most important thing. And not to take away from the fact that money is important, bro. Like money is important in in today's society, but at the same time what are you willing to sacrifice for money? It's true. There's people that are willing to sacrifice their own you know, family. There's people that are willing to sacrifice countries. It's all. It, it all depends on the on the level of power that you have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. It, it's a crazy world out here, bro. Everything revolves around money, and the fact that we're fucking up the earth, we're polluting the earth to the point where we're 50 years ahead of schedule from scientists predict predicament, like. That shit's a fucking that that that's a trip on its own, bro. Like we're fifth. Think about that. Like scientists predicted that this would happen in twenty seventy. That we would start lose losing ice at this rate at twenty seventy, and it's twenty nineteen. It's not even twenty twenty. We're lo- we're already losing it at this rate. Imagine fifty years from now, there might not be any ice left. It might be the opposite of a fucking ice age. And, and it's crazy how you say that. Because when I went to Norway, basically, when I went out there for vacation for about a year, we did see, like, we went out there to, like, a glacier, one of the biggest glaciers since, like, the Ice Age. Mm. It got smaller. And my dad was basically telling me, like, yo, like, me and your mom, when we were together, it was smaller. We took a picture over there. It, it was actually bigger. Right, and right. And now, when we went back, it, it was got just me smaller. and him. It, yeah, it's not the same size. Global warming. You know, he was like telling me, yo, it's global warming. And it's crazy. I was young. I was 12 years old. Yeah, you don't understand now. it. Exactly. We didn't understand it. And it's 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 basically, it's it's real. It's a real thing. That's kind of like what really woke me up. And it's like, man, if it's not the same size, and he did show me a picture and it wasn't. Wow. It was literally, it, that, that was kind of like a wake up call to me. And it was kind of like, man, this stuff is really real. Yeah, it's not a like joke, it's, it's man. Not it's not joke. it's not a joke. It's not a game, man. Yeah. The global warming, us polluting the planet, period, is not a joke. Like there's there's species of of animals out here dying, bro. There's multiple species of animals that are extinct now. Because we overhunt or whatever. We we don't know how to we just don't know how to take care of our planet, man. We're ungrateful. I, I honestly believe that that's what it comes down to, bro. Like, we're just, as a hu- as a whole, humans are egotistic. We're egotistic, man. We think that we're the best shit walking around on Earth. We're the smartest animal. But at the, at the end of the day, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, but knowledge can be detrimental, too. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. got to know how to use the knowledge in the right way. Like, you can't just, like, be out here thinking that, you can fix it later because there's some things you can't fix later, bro. The environment is one of them. Yeah. It's going to take 
years, years. The damage we've already done is gonna take hundreds, if not thousands, of years for us to we be able take, to. We already taken down forests. We already taken down so many different things. I mean, we're just polluting the earth. Let's not even get into the fishing. That's you know? crazy, actually. Now that you mention that, bro, you know like I mean? overfishing is one of those things where it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. Like. You could wipe out an entire species of fish if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to let the ecosystem, you know, take it care of thing. itself. Yeah. yeah. it that's, that's wild to me, man. But, yeah, bro. It, it's, it's sad, bro. It's sad that we can't take care of our planet. It's sad that people don't give a fuck about it. People care more about a green piece of paper or a bluish tint, tinted piece of paper with a stripe on it than they do about the econ or the, or the fucking Amazon forest or whatever it is, man. We yeah. got to take care of our ecosystem, bro. That's why, shout out to Sway, man. I respect Sway. Yeah, I respect talk. Sway, be, for talk. real, because he's out there taking pictures and making sure that people know and, and, and get knowledge of certain environments that are so essential like what's out there like people don't even know what's out there until right you go, until you actually take a canoe and you really right. go to the springs and you'd be like yo wow you know florida's really beautiful it's beautiful man yeah and people I, don't even listen know. man you're it's right next door right right in right your backyard door. right in your backyard that's exactly what i was about to say brother i was in ocala for two years Five that down shit the road. was three and a half minutes down the road. Not brother. even. Look at that. Three and a half minutes down the road. And I never went once. Until Sway's fucking yeah. ass <laughs> convinced me to go out yo, there. Yo, we saw monkeys. I we saw like, fucking monkeys, man. I was posting man. on Instagram. People were like, yo, I didn't even know we had monkeys. We have monkeys like, and yo, wild dude. monkeys in Florida. Yo, people that live in Florida don't even know. I never we knew that. Grown monkeys just swinging around. Never knew that until we went there, bro. Yeah. I swear to God. It's, it was crazy, like, and we were tripping on shrooms. Talk about shrooms, the first yeah. podcast. You remember, Toby? That was a mess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everything was, so, was yo, fucking well, majestic. Yo, I swear to God. It didn't matter what we looked at. Yeah, we took some shrooms. I swear to God. But not for real. Everything was we're majestic, cool. bro. Like, that shit was yo, a different we saw, experience. We saw a 15-footer gator. We, were just we, saw some, we saw a big gator, man. We man. saw the babies. Toby got way too fucking close. Way I was like, yo, close. my mom is going to hop out the bush and fucking drag wow. his canoe into the fucking water. Wow. But, hey, he's yeeting and skeeting. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeeting yo, and skeeting straight from Florida, Geneva, yo. Florida. So Florida. you already know how them them boys get down. Yeah. You know Geneva. what I mean? But, uh, yeah, shout out to Geneva, man. Shout out yo, to Geneva, Geneva Florida. Yo, man. We, we, we fuck with a lot of people from Geneva. Yeah, for real, man. You know, so. But, yeah, bro. At the end of the day, it's crazy we can't take care of our ecosystem. It's crazy that we can't take care of each other, period. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's sad, bro. It's fucking sad. But, yeah, man, that was just a subject that we wanted to touch on real quick. You know what I mean? Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next subject now, man. It has been, Let's, getting, it has been getting kind of hot, though, in Florida. It's been getting kind of hot anywhere, bro. Like, that shit... It's been getting, like, pretty, pretty hot. Like, I, I cut the grass the other day, and it was too hot. Like, I feel like, I remember back in elementary school, you know, back in 2001, 2000, early 2000s, you know, because I was born in 95. You were born in 90 what? 94? 94, yeah, yeah. 94. And, you know, when I used to wait out there for the bus, it was cold. Like, it was really, really cold. Mad like, cold. I, like, I don't know about you, but I remember when we used to wear the double... Double jackets. Word. You, you know, had remember you had we see the smoke. Layer we up, see bro. frost on, on the windshield. What happened? The frost on the like on the lawn. You, you remember got, that I shit? Mean, I don't know about y'all, but like the people, the, at least the same people that are the same age as us, like, you know, they should understand, like, it's not the same. It's not as cold as it used to be. I don't remember back, you know, last year. It wasn't even that cold. It didn't even last that long. Nah, and, bro. Like, you remember you remember me pointing it out last year? I was like, yo, bro, it's only been cold like collectively in Florida for the past few years. Like le- this past year that just happened was the coldest year in about I would say two years, two, three years. Yeah. Cause there was a two or three year stretch in Florida where it was pretty hot the whole winter. Like it would be 
it it would be cold for about two three hours in the morning, and then it would be a regular day. Or at the days where it was from really seven, really cold, from seven a.m. to like maybe the earliest eleven thirty, it would be like kind of chilly. You know what I mean? Right. Really cold in the morning, then it'll start to get chilly, and then it'll get really hot, and everybody would take off their their sweaters. Yeah, Florida is the type of Florida was the type of state for for about two three years yeah. where you wore a hoodie and shorts. <laughs> Yeah. You wear a hoodie and fucking shorts because you don't know what the hell's going on that goddamn day. For real. You, you go to school, it's fucking 22 degrees outside in the morning, and by noon, it's fucking 78. And you're hot. You're sweating. You got the people wearing the sweaters around the waist. They got people just, they got extra clothes. You know, at the gym, you know, you change. You're, there's you know people what? like I'm going to stay in the shorts. There's people like Toby that hot. don't believe in fucking hoodies. They don't. They don't believe in sweaters. It don't matter how fucking cold it gets. Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God, it will be like forty degrees out, thirty five degrees out. He'll wear shorts with a sweater. Shorts with a fucking, no. <laughs> with a short sleeve shirt. No, it's a hood. No, I can wear a hoodie, not pants, man. Yeah, uh, no, nah, nah, nah. I wear a hoodie and pants. How about that? A hoodie and yeah. pants. But I mean, there was another topic that I did want to speak about, though. Um, I did see about. You know, kids being stuck in cars, maybe their parents leaving them in cars, and people actually, like, killing their kids. You right. Know, just because of a, a simple accident. You know, it, it's kind of hot. You know, you can't... It's really hot. Window. How do you leave some... How do you leave your kid in a car? You know, people are actually like, should we charge this guy for murder, or does this guy actually care for his kid? You know, right. it, it, it's kind of like, it's, it's hard to prove. You know? So it's kind of like, wh- what do you do? You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that have been happening throughout the year about people leaving their kids in the car, in their vans, and it's like, I feel like, me personally, I would never do that. I feel like me, like, I'll, I would actually, it's like leaving your, leaving something important in the car. I don't know. It's like leaving your pants. It's like you walking out your house and you forget your pants. That's how important it is, you know? Like, you, you just don't forget it. So, for you to leave your kid in the car is like, I don't know. Yeah, no. That's a, that's, I, that's I definitely, a real sensitive topic. That's a real sensitive topic. There's there's parents all over the country that feel, that have mixed feelings about it. There's a lot of people that know exactly how they feel about it. But, see, honestly, I don't know, man. I feel like there there are mistakes that are made that cost lives. That's one of the main things that you learn in the military. Not that I ever been in the military. I just have a lot of close friends. I have family members that have been in the military. And when you join the military, one of the main things is that time doesn't cost money. Time costs lives. So yeah, man, it, it's it's crazy to even think about that somebody could leave their child in the car. Yeah. You know, because you're thinking about it from your perspective and, and you're looking at it like it's impossible. But it's not impossible. It's not impossible, bro. It's not impossible to make a mistake that costs a life. But, I mean, it, I understand for it to happen like maybe once or twice throughout the year, but there's so many different occasions. I feel like people do take advantage of it. Like, all right, so there's people that are leaving their kid in the car. So, all right, so people are getting away with it. So I completely take, agree. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to separate from which is which. I completely agree. You but know, they'll play the victim. It's the same thing with anything, man. The, it, you, can't, you can't look at every case and be like, oh, well, the last person, you know, left their kid in the car on purpose, so everybody leaves their kids in the car on purpose because that's just not true. It's the same way you, you, it's the same way you look at cops. It's like there are bad cops, there are good cops. Every cop isn't a bad cop. Yeah. Every citizen isn't a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Every white boy ain't a redneck. Every black dude ain't a fucking thug. It's, it's true. It's real shit. It's true. Like, you can't just judge the whole barrel based off of one apple. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, it, you can't like judge there, a boat there by are people cover. out there. Yeah. I completely agree with you, brother. Like, there are people out there that they leave the fucking kids in the car on purpose. Because they know that they... Either we'll get away with it, or there's a very high possibility that they might get away with it. But 
there are people out there that really make mistakes, bro. Like, there are people out there that, like, they grab their, you know, they're not, it's not their morning to take the kid to school. They're used to a certain schedule. It's not their morning to take the kid to school. They're already on a muscle memory, you know, route. Yeah. And they they end up forgetting. But and, and it doesn't take long, bro. That's the scary thing about it, too. Like, with the heat index inside the car, bro, it doesn't take long for somebody to suffocate, man. Yeah. It could be, it, 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 if it's 96 degrees outside, it's probably going to be 20, 30 degrees hotter in that car. <sighs> You know what I mean? I can't and imagine. In 20 minutes, it that might be all it takes for a, a small child. Yeah. You know, and and think about it, bro. You you could really forget, man. You could run. You could be running late. You're not thinking. It's not your day for you to drop the kid off at daycare or whatever. And you get to work and you run inside. You're like, fuck. All right, I'm late. I made it five minutes after whatever. You get your shit set up for the day, and 20 minutes, 15 minutes later, you realize you're like, fuck. I have my kid in the back seat, and you run out there, and they, you know your child's dead. Yeah, like that's a possibility. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's. It should never happen. It should never happen. You know, it should never happen. But I mean, I feel like it's happening throughout the world. Yeah, but like I feel like it's been happening a little bit too often. I agree. You know, I agree. A little bit I, too I often, think that especially a lot of these yeah. people. A lot of these people don't know how to take accountability. They don't know how to take responsibility for for certain things, you know. Like they they might have went their whole life, like just pressing the snooze button, running late, whatever the case may be. And this is a time where it affected them in a negative way. Yeah, and it's kind of sad, man. It's kind of sad. It's really sad, man. Because when you take rest it to the court, rest in peace yeah. to all all those young young angels that lose their lives every year. Sitting in a hot car, man. That that's a sad way to go. That's a very sad way to go. Innocent. Innocent children. Innocent. They didn't do nothing wrong. They don't know what's going on. But I mean, it's it's sad. It's sad. It's something that we can't control. You know, we just got to make sure and pray at least. You know, that's that, a fact. That God, you know, makes sure that you know He protects these type of children. You know what I mean? Because some of these parents, and not everybody's meant to be parents, man. That's a fact. You know, we got people I'm that... I'm glad you brought that up, bro. Yeah. You know... Not everybody's meant to be parents, bro. Yeah. It's the same way with anything. Everybody ain't meant to be a mechanic. Yeah. If not, they'd be fixing their own car. Everybody ain't meant to be a fucking astronaut. If not, they'd be on the fucking moon. Yeah. Like, there's certain things that are for certain people. There's certain things that aren't. But even if you aren't meant to be a parent and you... Do end up being a parent. Be responsible, man. Please, please, please be responsible with your children. Be responsible with your children. They're they're the future. Like I know it's touche and everybody wants to use that phrase, but children really are the fucking future. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we we, we gotta start taking better care of our kids, man. We gotta start being more attentive. And not just with that type of stuff, man. So start paying attention to what your kids watch. Stop paying. Start paying attention to what your kids read. Start paying attention to what your kids are into. Period. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy shit on the internet, man. And there's a lot of parents that didn't grow up in the internet era. No. So you kind of have to advance with the kid. To be honest with you. You gotta keep you know? up with with, yeah. with, with today's technology. Time. Yeah. And it's crazy, bro, because y'all know, everybody here knows, bro, I haven't had, I've never had an Instagram. Never. You just made it today. I made it today. A couple hours ago, bro. I don't even know how to use that shit, dog. <laughs> like, I was sitting here asking yo, he was Kevin at, he's asking me and questions. fucking John how yo, to use Instagram, the, Yo, bro. what's the difference between a story and a post? Like, right. Like, y'all know what it is. Shit. Y'all know, he know, like, they know what it is. They know what it is, and there's some people that might not know what yeah. it is. You know what I'm saying? But it, at the same time, it's like. You gotta keep up. Yeah, you because gotta if keep not, up, you gon' they gonna kick you. You know, yeah, they gonna kick it, you down. It's definitely and, gonna be one of those yeah. things where you you fall too far behind, and that's what anything you fall too far behind, you're gonna end up spending the rest of your life catching up, and that's a sad way to spend the rest of your life, bro. Yeah, just catching up to what everybody else is doing. Yeah, you gotta keep up, no matter you gotta what. Keep up. Yeah, because um, if not, you're gonna be left behind. 
Uh, you got to pay attention, man. You got to see what your sons and your daughters are doing. You have to. That's a fact. You know, the world's changing every single day. You got you know, if you're not learning, if you're not learning anything every day, if you're not learning something new every day, then I don't know what to tell you. You're not, you're not living life. Like you have to be learning something every day because you don't know everything. You know, there's people out there and they feel like they know everything in the world. They're hard headed. And, you know, I, I don't look at the world like that. You know, I feel like you got to stay humble. That's a fact. You got to stay humble. And, um, you know, unfortunately, there's people that are not like that, but it's okay. You know, you kind of just have to live and you learn. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much, nah, you bro, know. I agree, man. Yeah. I completely agree. But let's move on to another subject, bro, because that shit just fucking, that's a fucking burn. I mean, honestly, I mean, there, there's a lot of riots that are going on. I mean, what what happened in Puerto Rico not too long ago? Now hey, in Hong listen, Kong, man. in Hong Kong now, you know. Saludos a toda mi gente en Puerto Rico. I love y'all, man. That's my Hell. island. That's where I was born. A lot of Facts. people may Me not too. know that. I'm 100% Rican. I was born on the island. Me too. I lived there till I was about seven. That was my first language, man. And um, it's sad what's going on out there. But the sadder thing is that the government out there was taking advantage of the situation. Bro. Yeah. They were sitting here stealing funds. They were sitting here stealing things that the island needed in order to get right. And yeah. that's not, bro, come on, man. Like, I don't want to get too deep into it because I, I'm just, I'm wired different, bro. Like, I'm the type of person where it's like, I'm ready for a revolution type shit. Yeah. Like, I'm ready for them to storm the whole fucking place. And, 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 and take over. And overthrow <laughs> the government. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real yeah, shit. yeah. yeah. Real shit. Facts. That's what I'm ready for. But you. at the end of the day, man, the reality yeah. of it is that it's you, not gonna happen you saw like what that. They did. Yeah. They went and fucking danced. <laughs> <laughs> they went out they there. Went they party. And fucking danced. Yeah, They're they not went. fucking out there to really. I mean, I, a lot of them probably thought they were making a difference, bro. But <laughs> but I mean, you know what? They have fun. Pero mi gente, look, Perriano isn't gonna get the job done. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Dancing in front of the fucking... They all getting, getting messed up, man. You know, <laughs> whatever they doing out there. Look, but dancing in front of the building isn't going to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. And not to make a joke out of it, because there was over 4,000 lives that were lost. Yeah. My people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Our people. You're reeking too, bro. Yeah. Our people. I there was, was 4, over 4,000 people that were lost. Yeah. And um, it's sad, bro. It's sad that, that I had... It had to come to what it came to. But I feel like the movement should have been a little bit better. You yeah. know, the the action behind what happened should have been a little bit more structured. But you know what? I did hear that, you know, there were a lot of people that died. You know what I mean? But then there was, you know, compared to what people were really talking about, I feel like the, the media did exaggerate a little bit more than, you know, what they were talking about. But, I mean... At the end of the day, we did make history. You know what I mean? We did what we had to do. And we did unite. And that that's all that matters. Because, you know, there's a lot of violence that's going around. There's a lot of violence that's going around. Yeah. And, that's you know, fair. people don't even talk about it. People don't talk about it. Yeah, uh, man. But that that's what we're here to do, brother. That's what we're here to do. We're here to talk about it. And, you know. We're trying to change people people's opinion. We're trying to... We're, Maybe not change people's opinion too, but Look, just like yeah. give you a different perspective. It exactly. might make you think differently. Exactly. But we appreciate the time that you guys have spent with us. Once again, third ever episode of Dope Talk TV. We got everybody in the building. Jet just walked in the building. Shout you know out to Jet. Yo, you know shout out to Jet. Yo, but real talk, here. bro. Yeah. We in this bitch and um, we going to be here for a while, man. We didn't told y'all. So get ready for this. We gonna be fucking. We gonna be chilling. We yeah, gonna be chilling, yo. Chillin'. Yo, so so it's content. low key. It's low key it's and Johnny. Low key and Johnny, man. Yo, we, we out here. You know what it is. We out this motherfucker. Yo, dope talk TV. We out. Yeet.